Hi there, this is Brother Berman at KFUR Global Radio, trying to hold the phone still and make a video. I am the former Correctional Facilities Chairperson for District 22, Delegate Area 20 in Northern Illinois. Um, I went to uh, groups to get uh, help uh, with my problem, and that's my flavor of what I chose to do. So uh, basically there's like, uh, you know, districts, uh, and I was a DSR uh, uh, group service representative, and then I also got involved with service work, and I um, ran uh, meetings in jails. And, um, I would go in these jails, run the meetings, and they'd let me out. Cool stuff. So basically after getting involved with service work, that's how I would get out of myself by helping others. Then I moved to Colorado years later and uh, did not get in trouble from drinking because, well, I was getting help, right? And I chose to want to get help. So years later, I thought I'd start try to start this program called Br Bridging the Gap, which would basically have volunteers to either go into prisons, like, like I did, run the meetings, but have other volunteers stay in contact with some of the prisoners so that when they would get out of prison or jail, they would stay in contact with these people and go to meetings with people in the outside world. Check this out. So that started in 1997. There is uh, some history in the archives of when the Bridging the Gap program started. And I do not take full credit. I did carry the, com uh, the committee by myself for about 10 years and then there are other volunteers now it's uh, pretty much all over the place but the fact that uh, a lot of jails would call me jails or prisons and um, ask if I could work with a uh, prisoner that was being released and have coffee with them or whatever and some of them would travel a couple hundred miles to sit with me and the best I could do is just have coffee with them and take them to meetings or have other volunteers take these people to meetings again I have to get out of myself to help myself, if that makes any sense. So this pipe dream turned into a bigger reality for the state of Colorado. The, the, the Corrections uh, Committee, which is Area 10, state of Colorado, statewide, and then having other volunteers from all over the place uh, to volunteer. And it talks about the uh, temporary, um, you know, getting, you know, temporary contacts with these prisoners to help others so I do believe in giving people a second chance and there was a situation where somebody broke into my car and I'm like well I still gotta watch I still gotta watch myself I still gotta protect myself but at the same time if other people want to get well if they want to make their lives better then I think they should deserve a chance but they have to be willing they have to want this to get the help that they want so, there you have it, just a little review, when, um, back in the, oh, wrong, wrong screen, but, you get the point, thanks for tuning in, this is Brother Brimman, KFUI Global Radio, dun, 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 dun.